I've said many times that drag racing is the right place at the right time kind of sport. Sean Langdon got away with a 404. Josh Hart got sent home with a 387. You don't think this is the right place at the right time kind of sport? Try this on for size. Mike Salinas on the left side. The Pep Boys. Oh, man. Where did I get that from? Two years ago? The Scrappers. Valley Services Car for Redline Oil. And Clay Milliken. Now, Clay Milliken, you heard him say earlier, the only time this year he won round one was Chicago. And they went all the way and won the event in Chicago. He'd love to have that happen again if they could make it happen. For Rick Ware and Parts Plus, Biohaven, Summit Racing Equipment. Rolling in here after the last round, these two, a hundredth of a second apart in performance. Both made solid runs, but that was with a racetrack that was about 25 degrees cooler. Salinas left, Milliken right, and Salinas has been absolutely whooping up on Clay here as of late. Let's see if he can get some revenge. It is a day of ending streaks. Clay Milliken goes 3.868, 312 miles an hour, and beats Mike Salinas. The last time Clay Milliken beat Mike Salinas on the racetrack was Brainerd, Minnesota. No, not last year. Two years ago. That was a 7-0 streak that Mike Salinas had going, and just like earlier today, when Steve Torrance busted the Justin Ashley streak, Clay Milliken just busted the Mike Salinas streak down to Hannah. With Jim Oberhofer, what was your approach coming into round two? Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Mike Salinas and Rob Flynn, they've had our number quite a bit with our Parts Plus car, but, uh, you know, I told our guys, man, we just got to, you know, do our job and uh, we can take them out. And, uh, you know, a lot of respect for Rob and Mike and that whole team over there, and uh, they're tough to beat. And, there's nothing easy out here, that's for sure, on the mountain. But I'm really proud of my Parts Plus team and uh, Clay Milliken. He's something else. Stomping on the loud pedal and taking his way into the semifinals. You heard him earlier. The last time he won first round, he went to the final. He'd like to do that again today. And he busted the streak. That's two 7-0 streaks that have gone back over a year that have come to an end here today on the mountain.